All right, ladies, gentlemen, gamers, enjoyers of Twitch drama, we're back again for yet more Twitch drama. I would argue probably the apex of the Twitch drama recently. This is the drama with Mizkif. Mizkif is in a whole heaping load of doo-doo. But anyway, from what I know personally from right now before going into it, Mizkif basically got exposed for some reason. I didn't know why, but we're going to see that now. But he got exposed, and they basically exposed him being racist and saying slurs. And in this day and age, in this year, you know, we're in 2022, cancel culture's rampant. Once you open the door, cancel culture people will dive right in and do like a fucking harder inspection on your life than the fucking IRS. Like, if there's something you are trying to hide, the IRS is less likely to find it than the people who are trying to cancel you are. It's fucking scary, it's insane, and by God, you know, the ti one of the titans of Twitch, Mizkif, he got fucking caught. He got caught and he, you know, he played himself. But anyway, let's see what's going on. So, this all started from previous controversy we covered, which is Slicker. So, Asmongold here is saying, you know, how is this guy still on the platform? This is ridiculous. Twitch is like, you know, stupid. And then Trainwreck, the guy who saved Slicker, I don't know if they're friends, I don't know why he did it, but he did it. He's like, you know, he's kind of just attacking Asmin, and there he's saying like, yeah, you know, this guy is sick, or, you know, you're, you're twisting it to make him look worse than he is. Like, he's calling Asmin Gold <laughs> in, insecure, or maybe not Asmin Gold, we both know deep down why the insecure little man is doing this. So... Yeah, I don't know. So Trainwreck is just kind of coming in trying to defend himself because he's associated at this point with Slicker. And then out of nowhere, well, not out of nowhere, Mizkif is attached to Asmongold, which, you know, Mizkif, I don't know, man. With all the stuff coming out, it, it's really fucked because now not only with cancel culture do you make yourself look bad, you make everyone around you look bad to where if they don't publicly denounce you, it's like, oh boy, like, they're coming down with you. I don't think Asmongold could get canceled, though, but... It's really sad to see that, like, this is his boy. I also want to point out, Mizkif's picture is literally a porn picture. But anyway, if we're going to deplatform people for scamming others, shouldn't we have banned you for the Jolt coin a few years back? Uh, I'm not too familiar with this, but I think everyone that was big probably in, you know, participated in a pump and dump that's scummy. Anyone who was scummy did a pump and dump stupid, like, Bitcoin bullshit. He peddled shitcoin? Exactly. Like... Yeah, so he literally tried to scam people. I don't know how Trainwrecks is still around, but he is, and he seems like a very, uh, you know, antagonistic sort of guy. So, Mizkif's coming out here kind of trying to defend his boy, calling Trainwrecks out on something that sounds to be pretty valid, honestly. But maybe Trainwrecks changed, or maybe he's just being a dickwad. So what does he do? He claps back. Are you going to send Maya and Mitch to Railroad and blackmail me like you did those girls to cover up all those sexual assaults, you fucking scumbag piece of shit? You want to come at me and make shit up? Then you better be sure you don't live in a glass house, you insecure pussy. So here's the problem, the small problem here, because this isn't about train wrecks, but again, train wrecks did kind of peddle a shitcoin from what it looks like, and... You know, he's just attacking Mizkif now with greater ammo. Mizkif, you know, shot Trainwrecks, but he shot him in the leg. Trainwreck shot Mizkif in the fucking skull. Because now this opened up the whole thing of sexual assaults. So, again, once you invite the door open, the cancel culture mob is going to flood in and search your fucking house. Like, and I'm assuming that's what happened, so let's see. Because I don't know how one thing leads to the next. I don't know how they find these things. Like, bro, this is crazy. But let's hear this clip. So apparently this clip is uh, pretty popular. Let's hear this. ...that we used to hang out with that doesn't hang out with Slick anymore because of what happened. I actually think there's literally none. Because the Okay, so there's another controversy that came out where he... So Mizkif did not sexually assault women. His friend did. Again, yeah, it's Crazy Slick who um, sexually assaulted people. I don't know to what extent... Yeah, not Slicker. Yeah, no, it's not Slicker. I don't know to what extent he assaulted these girls. I heard at the very least they were drunk, they were blacked out, and he groped them. I don't know if he was drunk. It doesn't matter if he's drunk. That should not happen. But as far as I know, it could be worse, but that's as far as I know currently. The reality is, worst comes to worst of it, it's fucking, like, sexual harassment, right? 
I mean, like, who, like, no one, uh, what you can deem of it, it's sexual harassment, uh, whatever, at a low scale, it's not oh, really a big deal. I don't think people really gave a shit and really cared. John, I'm going to turn this off if you're going to be, I don't think there's a single person. Okay, I'm not going to take whatever Crazy Slick says in this situation yet, because right now he's the accused. I more often than not will believe the accuser, or at least hear them out first. Not necessarily believe them, because, you know, there's a lot of cases where, you know, they just make up lies. Yeah, so this is the problem with what Miz is saying. If the accuser, or if the accused, right? Here, fuck, let me, let me say this in a better way. If the girl is coming out and saying it was this bad, and the Miz Kiff is coming out saying, oh, it wasn't this bad, that sounds really bad. Like, that just sounds really bad. And it sounds like you're kind of downplaying something. This sounds pretty fucking bad. So amid a debate over gambling, Ms. Kiff and Trainwreck were locked in a debate. And then somehow Trainwreck knew this. I don't know how he knew this, right? But he knew this, that Ms. Kiff covered up a sexual assault. I'm just assuming, like, you know, all the rich people know all the other rich people's dirty laundry. Same with Twitch streamers, probably. So it was later confirmed by Adrian Lee that the allegations Trainwreck was referring to were related to her and Crazy Slick. So she confirmed it. So before that, maybe it was like just, you know, maybe Trinrex is talking bullshit, but she confirmed it. Oh my god. No way. So, they tried to cover it up. Adrian Lee confirmed it, right? Ms. Kiff and his then-girlfriend Maya asked her to keep certain information private. Holy shit. This is insane. So after this, Ms. Kiff has not streamed since the drama erupted, which is smart. Very smart. He said, I'm worried about him. He's not home. I don't know where he is. He said, he's just going to a girl's house. So this drama is like half about Ms. Kiff, half about Slick. The drama I know with Ms. Kiff is, you know, these things came out from the past with Ice Poseidon. I don't know why Ice Poseidon did it. I don't know why Ice Poseidon sent the receipts of Ms. Kiff being racist long ago. But I think now the drama goes past even that. Holy shit. The drama now goes to Ms. Kiff's friend and then Ms. Kiff trying to downplay it, I think. Holy shit. After around 20 minutes, Ms. Kiff confirmed he had a phone call to the police to inquire about Slick. We called everything. I called the police. See, again, Ms. Kiff is the worst person to do this because it is a common fact that Ms. Kiff is known for content. He, like, it is known Ms. Kiff, he even says it himself, right? He uses other people for content. You know, he's he doesn't really make anything. He's not too creative, so he uses other people. He likes creating content. He he obviously baits people into things, and he actively like puts himself in situations that are either drama related or interesting to get content out of other people. Overall, Ms. Kiff is known to be a person who uses situations for content for views. In the argument I had about XQC, where I can argue he was using it for content. There's an argument that he wasn't because he doesn't need to. Ms. Kiff, this is literally what he does. So even if he wasn't doing it, it could be a sort of boy cried wolf thing where it's like, oh, the one time he, he's not doing it for content, every other time he did, so why would we believe him? It's, you know, it's bad. With Ms. Kiff, I don't give him the benefit of the doubt. I think, like, it's tough. It's really tough. But then this is crazy. So Crazy Slick allegedly found after sending goodbye messages... We found Slick, he's safe. I see, I don't know if people are going to be happy about this, though. A few hours after his real case, was found, his Twitter account disappeared from the platform. Damn. So Slick tweeted soon after that gave saying, I've never sexually assaulted anyone and never will. I've never had any intention of harming anyone. I go out of my way to check on someone. I get accused of a word I can't say. This is unfair. I'll be getting a lawyer ASAP. Learn from the Johnny Depp situation and think first. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, okay, see, this is where I think, like, the... <sighs> see, it's good what Johnny Depp did, because I think Johnny Depp is, you know, I think he was, uh, obviously he had his own issues, he definitely didn't, he wasn't a saint in that whole situation with Amber Heard, but overall, I think Johnny Depp had a good precedent set where women cannot get away with being the abusers 100% of the time. Because I think 100% people can... If people don't agree on this, I think they're delusional. People can agree that Amber Heard abused Johnny. He, She did. I'm not saying Johnny was a saint and he didn't do anything to her, but she definitely abused him way more, I think. 
Trainwreck should also be banned for shilling a failed crypto at one point, to which Trainwreck shot back with, brace yourself. Oh, Are you going go. to send Maya and Mitch to railroad and blackmail me like you did those girls to cover up Damn. all those sexual assaults, you fucking scumbag piece of shit? <laughs> you want to come at me and make shit up, then you better be sure you don't live in a glass house, you insecure pussy. With him then Damn. going on to clarify that Miskiff did not sexually assault anyone himself, but instead... Yeah, okay, so that's the part that needs to be clarified. He, Mizkif didn't do anything, but he tried to help cover it up. Like, that's still pretty shitty. Cover up a sexual assault a buddy allegedly committed. With that being a pretty clear reference to people in the space, to allegations made by streamer Adriana Lee against Crazy Slick, another streamer, last year. Also, because we're throwing out all these names that many of you don't even know, this is a different Slick. Yeah, I didn't really know this either. Like, this is a different person. Right, last July, a streamer that used to be friends with Adriana accused Slick of sexually assaulting Adriana. But this said to have occurred while she was blackout drunk at a party in January of 2020. With Adriana saying of the situation in a twit longer, Slick was acting weird. He only went into the room to check if she was still alive, by seemingly checking her pulse by touching her neck and chest. At the time, she described it as an uncomfortable situation, but not rape or assault. However, Adriana now claims... See, at that point, you always can question, like, oh, did she say that because she was told to play it down? Was there more that happened? And she was pressured socially by Maya and Mitch to to downplay it. You know, this is kind of the he said, she said thing, where I think as time goes on, more stuff will come out. More mud is definitely going to be slung, but like, uh, see, this is a part where I don't know what to say here, because if that was it, if that's what she said, and now she's going back on it, I don't know if she's going back on it because it actually was a lie what she said, or because she's trying to just, you know, attack him. I don't know that she initially intended to be more forceful in her accusations, revealing... The Twitlonger is a diluted version of the story that was proofread by... Maya, OTK. Oh. It was Maya, Mitch, and Barry were there with me. With her then clarifying that due to the power oh. dynamic between her, Maya, and Mizkiv's OTK organization, she felt pressured to allow them to proofread her stuff and downplay what happened over fears that she'd lose access to the group, which also eventually happened oh. anyway. Oh, see, this makes it tough. Oh my god, see, things get so muddied when business involved. This is why it's hard doing business with friends, because then it's like, stuff like this can happen. Oh, this is so bad. Adding salt to the wound, there were also clips like this one where Miskiv downplays what happened. Of what you can deem- We just saw this too, oh my god. It's sexual harassment. Yeah, just think, this is actually crazy. This all occurred from slicker gambling and stealing from people, and it opened an entire can of worms. It had like this crazy- butterfly effect of like look at what it caused for just like if Mizkiff didn't comment supporting Asmund none of this would have happened this is so fucking crazy and and really cared. And based on that, it seemed like there was a plan to protect Slick because he faced essentially no repercussions for all this. But also, things may be a little more complicated. Right, to be wow. clear, no one except Slick denies Adriana's claim that she was sexually assaulted. But Maya, okay. Mizkiff, and others are claiming that they were working with imperfect information at the time, and Adriana somewhat backs that up. I've only recently figured out and found out, especially without sitting, that it's sexual assault. Because... I definitely think the... I definitely think sexual assault has gotten more updated in its definition what is considered sexual assault now would not be considered sexual assault back in the day even yeah. yesterday we looked up the definition on stream and that's what it was well it's like even you know when that stuff happens to you you don't immediately your first reaction is like that didn't actually happen like it's not as bad as it's not that bad you exactly. know what I mean? see this brings up a great argument though of like if, if he really was in the room trying to check her pulse and whatever, he obviously has to touch near her breast, right? If that's the case and it was misconstrued as sexual assault, again, I don't know what else happened. I don't know if there's some weird dynamic here where she, she just doesn't like the guy and she wants to fuck him or if it actually happened. There could be a whole bunch of reasons for both sides. And the fact that there's no witnesses like in the room with them, it's just going to be a he said, she said sort of thing. And it's going to default to like, you know, I guess which side has the better backup, which, you know, shittily, well, shittily or maybe luckily enough, it probably is slick side, but who knows? I don't know. This is complicated though. Damn. It's like you try to gaslight yourself, so of course you're going to say that at first. And a number of experts would say that her friend is right, that it's not uncommon for victims to take some time to come to terms with what happened to them. So with that in mind, Maya's claiming if they only went over to hear Adriana's side of the story to see if they had to kick Slick out. And so if Adriana hadn't even come to terms with what had happened to her, it makes sense why she may have agreed to Maya's request to include mm. that it wasn't sexual assault. But whatever the situation may be, Maya has since apologized and said that she should have never inserted herself into the situation. And in general, online, it feels like uh, whether people believe Ms. Kiff intentionally tried to cover it up or not, many have assumed that at best, Slick's just a fucking creep. But then, because when it rains, it pours, a ton of women have come Ooh, out about their experiences yep. with Slick. See, I 
slick. With people showing his DMs to them, showing that he sent unsolicited dick pics to them even when told Ooh. to stop. But also, Slick has not been happy about the allegations, denying them and nuking his social media. But in addition to Slick, the biggest spotlight right now is on Mizkip. And sticking oh, with the idea of when it, it rains, it pours, things kept piling up against Mizkip. For people like streamer Ice Poseidon, who seems to have been kind of- Yeah, like, what the hell? How does Ice Poseidon get in here? It's like, where the fuck do all these people come from? It's like, if you have bad shit on you and you cause an enemy, it's like I said, it becomes a war. It becomes a fucking war where, like, it's not just between Mizkip and Trainwreck. Now Ice Poseidon's getting involved, Maya's getting involved, Slick is now, like, part of it. Like, it's so crazy. And laying low for a while due to his crypto scandals. But here, seeing a chance to come back and release DMs from Mizkip that show outrageously racist language. So all of that Jesus. combined led to calls for him to be kicked from OTK. Though, wow. notably, Mizkip has some ownership in the company as an initial founder, so that might be unlikely. However, the company has since come out to address Mizkip's actions, saying due to the seriousness of what's been brought forward, we have begun the process of contracting a third-party legal organization to investigate the issue in detail. In the meantime, Mizkip has been placed on leave and will be- Honestly, I didn't think they would do this. I thought he would do it himself i thought Ms. Kiff would just be like all right while the drama is happening i'm gonna step back innocent or not if you're innocent or not unless you really like you are 100 percent innocent and even then this is a risky thing to do you don't want to go out guns blazing like let's just say i'm innocent with like an allegation and i'm part of an org and you know what i say you know what i'm not leaving the org because i'm innocent and by proof like i'm staying because i know i did nothing wrong at that point, it gets very dangerous because people might get more riled up against you, even if you are in the right. The best thing to do is if you're right or wrong, no matter what, just step back, get all the facts, get your story straight, put it out there, show that you're innocent, and then come back. That's all you need to do. Like, it's crazy. Be stepping away from his and work. I dropped the vault. Yeah, that's honestly what it could be, Hunter. You know, I, I do have the vault. Organizational too. duties pending the results <laughs> of the investigation. With Mizkiff himself also addressing the controversy, writing that Slick is kicked out of the house and apologizing for his actions, and adding, A little while after Slick's misconduct came to light last year, I made some inexcusable statements on an alt stream after some chat messages got to me. To Adriana and all those affected by sexual harassment, I am sorry for those Why statements. Why did they blow that Sexual out? harassment, regardless of degree, can never be considered small. And while my yeah. intention was to clarify yeah, okay. a misleading chat message, I chose my words poorly and my response came off is downplaying what should have never been downplayed and okay this is good this is good i mean again people are going to question like you know if, if this is actually like if what he's saying here is actually genuine uh, i mean we'll never know because i think famous people will just say things to save their image i think once you're famous it kind of already brings you down but this is tough the racist DMs, Miz also said, I was a dumb, edgy guy who said a lot of stupid things to my friends to try and come off as funny and cool. I wow, doesn't that like sound like someone's group, huh? Can't change what I've said, but I can change who I am and how I conduct myself. Like literally, that's like, it's sad that it's a copy paste statement, but it has to be a copy paste statement because what else can you say? Yeah, I was dumb back then. Yeah, I was wrong. Now I'm not like that. You can either choose to believe me or you can choose not to. You know, if you don't like it, you don't have to watch me anymore. But, you know, I'm not like that anymore. That's basically what he's saying. But what else can you really say? Well, I'm proud proud of how much I've grown these past four years, but I know that there is always room to improve. And finally, going on to clarify that he made his decision to back Slick based on information that he was given at the time. And so right now you have people wondering, is there going to be a serious investigation into Mizkif, or is Ooh. all of this just an excuse to hide Mizkif away for a bit until the next big controversy drops? Oh, and like I said, uh, Twitch just changed the revenue share at the cost of- And we're gonna talk about that very soon, but not in this video. I don't wanna take it at face value. I don't think people should take it at face value, even though that, that is what they do a lot of the time. They take it at face value, and then what that leads to is people making assumptions that might not be true. But then again, how do we know anything is true? It's it's a really tough spot because I don't want to just outright throw someone under the bus or give them like the chance not to defend themselves. It's very weird. It's very hard. But overall, honestly, if we're just taking everything at face value, how it's said, we do know 100% for sure slick went into that room slick did touch her we don't know how she's saying it's one way they're saying it's another but now people are kind of backpedaling and they're saying like okay we were wrong you know we didn't mean to downplay it like oh you know if she recognizes it as this it's that slick obviously and even in Ms. kip's vocabulary oh i believed him at that time with what i knew it sounds like slick is on the sinking ship here it honestly sounds like slick is on the way down i think overall slick is just it, it might all get pushed to him and then Ms. Kiff might just eventually come back. I don't think Ms. Kiff can be canceled from this, but it's honestly up in the air. But anyway, that's basically it. Hope you enjoyed. Eee!